Hey, what's up everybody? This is my review of the Invasion Frost Giant from the Thor movie line of action figures. And as you can see here, the figure itself is now posed on a stand. This stand does not come with a figure, it's actually part of a Iron Man 2 figure. So, with that said, let's take a look at the figure. And as I stated before, this is probably going to be the one and only Thor movie figure I will pick up ever. But I saw this on the pegs today and decided to pick up this figure. It's actually a really nice figure. Now as you can see it comes with three accessories. Uh, you've got the ice shield which to me looks more like a blade. Uh, you can see there it kind of has a curve to it at the end. And you have the ice helmet and the ice club. And we'll take a look at each of those closely here. First off with the ice shield. And as I said before, it has a curve to it, so it looks more like a blade. I guess if you can get the figure to pose it across his body like that, it could be a shield slash blade. But nonetheless, it looks pretty, pretty cool. I like it. And it does fit on both hands. It fits on this hand better because this hand is more of a hand that's opposed like this. So it has more friction to get uh, uh, against the plastic, so it, it tends to hold on better. It does you know, hold on here, but it's a little looser. Uh, next up, our next accessory, the ice helmet. And again, very nicely detailed. Uh, I love the detail job they did with this. It's just really, really nice. And it does fit on the head very well. And finally, you have the club. And also nicely detailed. And the handle here is flexible plastic. It, it, the figure can hold it in both hands. Uh, better, it's better to have it in this hand, but uh, you can put it in this hand, as you can see there. But it's really loose; it'll fall off easily. So let's take a look at the figure itself, and uh, starting with the head sculpt, take a look at that. It does have red eyes. I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out. Uh, you can kind of make it out there. Uh, but just fantastic gold. In places it almost seems like it's wearing a little bit like there. You can see some of the blue showing through. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's a paint app issue. Uh, but nonetheless, here's a closer look at the figure. Uh, the skirt is soft, squishy plastic, which is nice. And you even have detail on the individual toes on the foot. So that's really nice. As far as articulation goes, uh, the head can look side to side, not really up and down. Side to side like that. Uh, you can see here we got ball hinge shoulders. And there is no bicep swivel. So there's not the, this figure does not have that joint in the bicep, but you do have ball hinged elbows and swivel at the wrist and a excellent, excellent ab articulation. I say excellent because it does provide the figure with a wide range of articulation. Looks like you can almost go, yeah, it's you can go 360 with it. Not only that, but if you recall that watching my Silver Surfer review, it had a similar ab joint, but the track that the joint goes through was showing, and that was a bad deal in my opinion. On this figure though, you, go, you don't see any of the inner workings of the joint system, which is good. I like that. Uh, moving on, there is no waist articulation. The legs are on uh, ball joints, or ball hinged uh, joints. Uh, you can see the hinge right there. Now this hinge is the same type of hinge that's on the Iron Man 2 figures. So if you want to move the leg forward, uh, you, can, you can do that now because the hinge is facing that direction. But if you wanted to move the legs out to the side, you need to rotate the ball with a hinge facing in the direction you want to rotate, or uh, in the direction you want to move the leg. So there is that joint system uh, present on this figure. And then you've got uh, articulation at the hip, although it's really stiff. 
but you do have that articulation so that you can rotate the ball joint independent of the rest of the leg. Uh, then of course you got a double bend at the knee and ball hinged ankles. So do I recommend you pick up this figure? I really do recommend you pick up this figure. This is a nice figure. And the nice thing about it is you could display this with other non-Thor figures, uh, such as you know Marvel Universe X-Men or uh, Spider-Man. It could be kind of a generic figure, a, gen a, a generic villain, if you will. It doesn't have to be a frost giant, per se, from the Thor universe. It could be something you make up in your own mind. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice, nice figure. I think they're pretty... I mean, I, I think you'll have no trouble finding the uh, Frost Giant. I could be wrong. Uh, it could be hard to find because I bet a lot of people like to army build these, so you, you might have difficulty finding them for that reason. But if you find them on the pegs, two thumbs up. I recommend you pick them up. Well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of the Thor action figure, the Invasion Frost Giant. Thanks for watching.